Okay, so I posted a comment on a video from Shaomai Noisy, uh, surprising Mormon missionaries by speaking Chinese. Uh, so yeah, I was talking about how I was learning Chinese and I got a few questions. Uh, I first wanted to respond as a comment, but I realized I was about to type a novel, so I might as well make a video to answer the questions that I received. So yeah, let's start by reading the comments. Uh, been learning Mandarin Chinese for a month now, motivated by you and many others, others I forgot I actually, uh, Mandarin speakers on YouTube, and I realized that I could now read four of the five characters in your YouTube channel name. I like how I can notice my progress just by going around on the internet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna answer the two questions that I've got below this comment. So the first one, how do you learn to read and write Mandarin? I'm good on hearing and speaking, but I can't make sentence, so I don't know where to start. Any advice is appreciated. Okay, so first thing first, I, uh, I've i been learning for one month. I didn't learn how to write. I've learned how to recognize characters, so I'm not qualified at all to give any advice on to write. As far for reading, uh, you're going to get an answer when I'm, I'm going to be explaining how I'm learning. Uh, second question, how have you been... Have you been using free methods? Uh, if so, wanna point me to the things you use unless you've been doing tutors or something. I don't have the money to commit to learn learning a language at the moment. Uh, I've actually paid zero uh, euros, dollars, whatever currency you use uh, for learning so far. And I don't plan to do so for at least for a while. Uh, maybe I'll do in the future, but right now that's, that's not even something I consider. Right now I'm paying zero for, for what I learned. And that's because I'm using the same thing that I've been using to learn English and uh, maybe uh, some Spanish as well, even though I'm not great at Spanish. Uh, yeah, I basically paid zero and I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Okay, so as I said, I started to learn one month ago, so I'm still a beginner, so take what I say with a grain of salt. Um, but I think my opinion might be still valuable because that's things I use to learn other things, uh, not only Chinese at the moment, but that's the same things I use to learn English and some other skills. Uh, first things first, uh, let us talk about the characters that I recognize in Chaoma uh, Chanel. So this one is Ma, which means mean horse. Uh, this one is Tai, which means, uh, what do we say? I think uh, it's where you are. So if I want to say that I'm in my house, I can say Wo Tsai Jia. I think that that's right. Don't quote me on that, but because Wo is I and uh, Jia, Jia is home. So, yeah, but I'm not sure. I'm still a beginner. And this is New Yue, which means New York. And the reason I, learned, I know this, all these characters is because I've learned them from Duolingo. More on that later. Uh, yeah, so there is Ma, and there is Mama. Uh, it's not the same tone, so this one is Ma, and this one is Mama. I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly, so please double check whatever I say, uh, whatever I try to pronounce, because it's probably wrong. How do I recognize these characters? I just go by memory. I remember that uh, the Ma in Mama has this little thing on the left uh, that this one does not. And uh, I know to recognize the other Ma because he has another thing on the left. Uh, so I just go by association. So, and also because I remember, I don't remember which video it was. So yeah, I was, I was uh, watching a YouTuber uh, that said, uh, he kind of gave up, uh, he said that as a joke, uh, learning Chinese when he called uh, uh, his stepmom a horse. Because yeah, that, that's the same sound, kind of, if you're a Westerner, but not the same tone, so it's not really the same sound. So yeah, through um, remembering like these characters and remembering about this story, I know to recognize the Ma for horse. And for New Year, as I said, it's because of Duolingo. How do I learn a language? How did I learn English? Um, that's something that I talked about in a video I posted before. So yeah, in the last video I posted on my channel, uh, I was talking uh, around 8 minute mark how I learn English. So basically I learn English by one, learning basics, and two, exposing myself to a lot of English. Uh, you can find more information about that if you watch the end of that video. So 8 minute 12 and onward, uh, I speak English and I added subtitles in French and English. So you'll be able to follow even though my pronunciation is really bad. To put it short, to learn English, I expose myself to a lot of English. So my plan is to do the same for Chinese. I want to learn the basics and expose my myself to Chinese content. So now how do I learn the basics? Uh, so far I found a few YouTube channels that I really like. 
I found Vivian Chang, uh, which has uh, a tutorials on pr on the tones and uh, pronunciation. Uh, the reason I want to learn tones and pronunciations is because I want to be able to read pinyin. Uh, I think you should be uh, you should be googling what is pinyin. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because I want to be able to type Chinese. And when you type Chinese on a phone or a computer, use pinyin. So I want to be able to hear sound and know how it's written in pinyin. So that, that's why I, um, I watched this video about, about pronunciation. Uh, I found another channel that I haven't uh, took the time to watch yet. Uh, this one is a, is a Spanish speaker, uh, which teaches Mandarin through Spanish. So if you know Spanish, maybe that could be a way as well. Uh, that's the two main YouTube resources I use right now as far as uh, Chinese lessons. As I said, I use Duolingo. Now, how do I use Duolingo? Um, the way I use Duolingo, I want to expose my, myself to repetition to a lot of vocabulary um, that is used every day. Uh, at least that's my goal. And um, I think the course in Duolingo does a fair job at doing that. Um, so the way I use Duolingo, I want to complete every single item in, the, in order, so I don't skip anything, um, to reach legendary level on Duolingo uh, on each of them. That's the purple thing here. Um, so yeah, I do that on every single one in order. So I've been doing that for 30 days. Where do I see the streak? Yeah, there is a string. So I've been doing that for 30 days. And you can see I completed a fair amount of them. And when I use Duolingo, um, I try to pronounce the character when I uh, read on Duolingo and uh, when I select it on Duolingo. You'll understand if you use the app. So it will play the sound when you click it. And before I click it, I try to say the sound to see if I say it right. So this way I remember the pronunciation for a character. I remember how to recognize it uh, with, my, with my eyes. I don't know how to write it because that's not my goal. Maybe I should learn that one day, but that's not my, that's not my goal. And uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, I do that. And then another thing I do on Duolingo, the way I learn stuff, I also really like uh, being competitive about stuff. And what's cool about Duolingo is you have a leaderboard to see basically who spends the most time on Duolingo. So you're divided in small categories of 30 people. And the goal is to be among the first 10, and then you upgrade it to the next rank. So the app kind of insensitize you. I don't, sorry, I don't know how to say that word in English, sorry. So yeah, that app really pushes you to uh, to spend a lot, of t a lot of time on it. When I've learned some word in Chinese, and I'm starting to do that right now, I start to expose myself to Chinese content. It's still really, it's still really new to me, so I don't recognize a lot of stuff yet. Uh, but the way I started doing that is by watching uh, reaction channels. Uh, so um, Lao Xu is the one I've been watching the most lately. Uh, of course, Chaoma NYC, and I saw Oriental Pearl. Like for example, in this, in, in one of her video, uh, she said to one of her Chinese Chinese friends, uh, "Ni Ni Xu, ni, no, sorry, Ni Ye Xu wo de Mei Mei," which means you are also my sister. And I was able to recognize that she said that because in Duolingo, I've, I've learned that uh, through, I think it was family and name and some other stuff here. So I was able to recognize these words because all the, uh, all the words in that sentence were words that I learned. So I, I just listened to Chinese content and tried to recognize what I've already learned to get used to hearing them. And the reason I do that is because that's how I learn English. Uh, I learn English by watching Minecraft videos. And so I was using the, video, the visuals of the videos to try to understand the meaning and hear the word at the same time. The same way I think a baby or a child would learn a language. So that's what I did for English and that's what I'm going to do for, for Chinese. Okay, so another way that I use to expose myself to Chinese content is I installed an app called Douyin, which is the Chinese TikTok. And uh, so, so yeah, I wanted to expose myself to a lot of random content, and the reason I want to do that is because when you scroll through the feed, you get really different content from one video to another. So that could be a way to learn some vocabulary. And also another thing that I noticed while Donald learning doing is that a lot of the videos actually subtitles uh, what is said in the video. That's something that is really new to me. I haven't seen that like in regular TikTok, like most videos, they don't subtitles. I mean, I mean, some of them do, but it's not every single video. Like, almost every single video has subtitles, and it's really crazy. So, um, even if I don't recognize the sound of the characters, because I can recognize how it looks, 
Like for example, so yeah, for example, this video, the second character is Shu, uh, which I think it means, a, it can mean a lot of things, but depending on the context, but the way I know how to use it is to use it as to be. Um, so yeah, that's a character I'm able to recognize because I've learned it. And so yeah, and by learning enough characters, I will be able, I think, to 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 just Google the few characters that I don't understand yet, and I will learn them one after the other. So yeah, and that's how I did. I, I basically uh, treat um, Chinese character the same way I treat English words. So yeah, the, as I said, the way I learn, I learn the English is by exposing myself to a lot of English. And whenever there, there is something that I don't know, I will just Google the word and I will learn it. And so yeah, I plan to do the, the same for Chinese. Uh, also, I think uh, I think I missed uh, saying another thing as well. Is I also use uh, YouTube channel Hailey. Uh, and I don't know how to read uh, these characters, sorry. Um, but Hailey and she, she on her channel, she she and her boyfriend, they are uh, Westerners that speak uh, Mandarin Chinese. Uh, they live in Taiwan. And every single one of their videos are subtitles in both English and Mandarin Chinese. Um, and they speak Mandarin Chinese in most of the videos, but they speak some English as well. So yeah, I, I get most of the meaning wrong, so that's fine. I just need to recognize what I already learned, and I'll, I'll pick up a few things here and there while hearing um, some other stuff. Okay, then uh, also some other stuff that I do. I want to plan to try to learn songs in Chinese. Uh, I found the channel that, the channels that seem to focus uh, on this method of learning, so by singing and learning Chinese songs. Uh, so they are they have uh, quite a few videos. I have I haven't watched many of them, so that's something I will look into uh, a bit later. And the reason I want to do that is because I learn really well. Um, um, I, I learn really well by remembering melodies. For example, when I was learning Spanish, um, it was I think, uh, yeah, it was. 13 years ago. I'm 25, I was 12. Uh, in Spanish class, I learned He hasa, he mosa besan. He hasa, he mosa besan. And the way I learned this um, um, th this verb, yeah, that's past tense is in Spanish, uh, the, the way I, I've learned these words is by singing them. I've sung the melody for this word, which is which goes like this. He hasa, he mosa besan. That's a melody I've made up just to learn these words. This melody, I've sung it for, I think, maybe a half an hour or something uh, when I was learning this. And to this day, this melody sticks to my brain. So that's a way of learning that works really well for me. And I wish uh, I did that more often while running things because I, I just realized recently that I've, uh, that this method really worked for me. Um, so I plan to do that. I plan to learn Chinese songs, uh, especially the songs I plan to learn are songs from a French, uh, from a French native that uh, lives in China and speaks fluent Mandarin. And, he, and he's called Dante's Dailong, that's his Chinese name. And he made a lot of uh, Chinese songs, I mean, Mandarin Chinese song uh, about France and also about uh, China. And I, I want to plan to learn um, some of these songs and I will be, so then I will be able to recognize the vocabulary, the vocabulary that is uh, in his songs. So that's the plan. Um, I might learn some other songs after that, but that's uh, still further in the future. I'm not really looking to learn songs just yet, but I will do. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all. That... Oh, actually, it's not done yet. Another thing that I've used to learn Chinese, I've used HelloChat. Um, HelloChat is an app you use to speak to basically anyone in the world that wants to learn a language. So on, on Hello app, I have a few. Uh, I've talked to a few Chinese uh, Chinese people. I've, I've like three or four people that I speak to regularly. Two of them that I speak every every few days or so. And what's good about this app is that you basically have someone who's willing to help you to learn a language for free, as long as you, as you help them to to learn um, to learn your own language. So right now I've, uh, I speak to, the, to um, um, a Chinese girl that lives in London uh, and she wants to learn French and I want to learn Chinese. So we basically ask questions uh, about each other's language uh, every once in a while. And so, so we are able to both progress on our pronunciation. So yeah, to make sentences that sound like something a native would use. So I've been doing that. For example, here I have um, a text document that, uh, on which I record a lot of stuff that I plan to learn or already learn or, um, or want to remember to say. 
Uh, so yeah, for example, this girl on Hello App, I'm not gonna try to pronounce her name. I haven't learned how to pronounce her name. Um, I, I've learned a few phrases from her, from her. Like this one, I should be, I should learn this phrase. This phrase, I think it's this sentence. Sorry, um, this is a really important sentence for me to learn because it really introduces uh, the reason I want to learn Chinese. So that's uh, a sentence I want to learn. And I'm still far from learning that sentence. It's uh, really complicated for me right now. And yeah, and also, yeah, so I, I write down a lot of stuff here. I also write down, uh, yeah, Lao Shu, as I said earlier, uh, he said this phrase, this phrase a lot uh, when he explains how, how did he learn Chinese. So that's a sentence I could learn. And then the Dantes, the guy I talked earlier, the, the, the French guy that, that, that sings in Chinese, uh, he answers my comments in Chinese. So I, I've got to write down a few of his comments to remember that if I want to say to someone that is the best, I remember I can uh, figure out how to how to say it, and the reason I I write them in that uh, text document, uh, the plan is if I want to text uh, someone that is the best, I will be able to go there and copy and paste this. But yeah, um, the plan is every time I want to use one of these sentences, I will just copy and paste it or type it using Pinyin, and I will remember them through repetition. So yeah, that's something further into the future because I don't really type in Chinese uh, right now. I'm not great at that. I type really few sentences. As I said, I'm just a beginner. I started one month ago. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. And I think that's what I did for English as well. Um, I was writing down stuff. I don't have any notes because it was so long ago. Um, but yeah, I was writing down stuff. Like a uh, stupid thing, like through Minecraft video. I remember uh, learning the word scaffolding because that's a word um, um, that's what the Minecraft YouTuber said a lot in every single of his video, scaffolding. And that's a, such a random word to learn, uh, to learn when you start learning English. But I was kind of proud of learning that, that word because then a few years later, uh, when I was in London, uh, I saw, I saw a, um, a sign that said scaffolding. So I was able to read that. That was quite, quite funny. Uh, yeah. I think that's what I want to say. So yeah. Um. Uh, I think that's it. I think I answered uh, your comments. Uh, so yeah, if I was uh, typing that, it would be re a really long answer. I'm glad I made a video for that. Okay, uh, thanks and bye. Also, I, I, I noticed I forgot to say uh, another thing is that I installed uh, a Chinese keyboard both on my phone and on my PC. So this way when I see a Chinese character, I'm able to type them because I want to learn how to type. Uh, so yeah, I installed Chinese keyboard. So thanks for watching and bye bye.